sometimes you spend a, like a long period of time trying to act like it doesn't really bother you, <laughs> but often there's an anger and a rage uh, kind of connected to it, and sometimes it comes out uh, later. I had a nephew that when he was between the ages of 5 to 10 years old, he would have a ball. He played all the time. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he played a lot kind of protected him from the pain of not having a father at home. Sure. As he got older, he started wondering, where is my father? In fact, he knew his father all of like 10 seconds in his life. He talked to his father for about 10 seconds on the phone. So looking for a father figure, he became uh, gang affiliated. Mm -hmm. And older men in the gang became like his father figure. In fact, what I remember about him was that he was angry all the time. Mm -hmm. And one of the and, 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 and some of that's uh, like a unique sign of what happens when one doesn't have a father around. They become angry all the time, mm -hmm. and especially males because often we are not given permission to express our uh, feelings. Like I'm hurt mm -hmm. because my father's not here. I'm scared because my father's not here. But we are given permission to, to become angry. And as I mentioned in the presentation, sometimes our anger turns into rage and then violence, and we strike out against the world because we haven't been given permission to express our feelings about it. So what happened with him is that he started using drugs, smoking reefer. He tried to really forget about his father. Uh, caught a couple cases, uh, like uh, that put him in anger management classes because he was getting to fights and uh, and smoking marijuana uh, and those uh, and those types of things. And uh, so I saw him when he was about 23, and at 23 he looked actually depressed. So at 15 he looked angry, but at 23 he looked depressed. And he didn't have a whole lot of energy to do the things that you want to do at 23. Mm -hmm. Go to school, get a good job, and work. Basically what it meant was that his anger was no longer strong enough to kind of hide his depression. So what it requires is for all of us uh, who weren't raised uh, by fathers is to have the opportunity to really talk about it and how it impacts our life. Uh, because we want to make sure that that doesn't affect, like if we were to have like sons and daughters ourselves, mm -hmm that we won't pull away from our own children because of what we didn't get from our father. And the one way not to do that is to have the opportunity to really talk about what that was like and the hurt that's really connected to it. And there's a movement out there. A lot of young fellows don't really know that where men are getting together with other men and talking about what it was like growing up without a father and how it impacts us to be there for our spouses, uh, how it impacts our ability to be there for our kids, and then supporting each other as we turn our life around. So, you know, one of the main reasons I do this is because I got a lot from my father. But based upon what I did get from my father, I want to make sure the message gets out on how important fathers are. I mean, 